So I have a student on one of my prior YouTube clips who is five weeks out from the step one, and he wants to know after he has finished reviewing NBMEs 25 through 30, if he should do NBMEs 20 through 24 or my high yield PDFs, which has priority. And my response is, first of all, you should not be doing the online forms 25 through 30 prior to the offline ones. It's a bad fucking idea. Some students will arbitrarily adhere to this notion that their scores will be artificially inflated on the online NBMEs if they're doing the offline forms first, as well as my PDFs, because we've got repeats from 20 through 24 on 25 through 30, and my PDFs focus on the NBME material, which will obviously increase your scores on the NBMEs. So students don't like this, this notion of having a potential artificial score inflation, when in reality, there's no such thing as an artificial score inflation. You will literally have students who prefer to study some obscure resource slash material that's not being assessed by USMLE, do shittier on their NBMEs, which don't lie, as I said, and then in turn, get a lower score on their real deal, all because they're trying to, to avoid this artificial score inflation. So what do you think UWorld does? Where do you think they get the idea uh, for their questions from? They go through the NBME exams. So it's not fucking magic when you do questions in UWorld, you see similar ones on the, N on the NBME, and then it's, oh my God, like, you know, I saw a similar question in UWorld. No fucking shit. But you don't have people complaining that UWorld's artificially inflating their scores, do you? No. So when we're preparing you for the USMLE, the ideal sequence is obviously to have you go through QBank material the best that you can. UWorlds are a gold standard. You're going to be memorizing NBMEs 20 through 24, as well as my high yield PDFs, which by the way, the PDFs focus on the offline forms 6 through 18. Immunology and biochemistry are up through NBMEs 24, okay? There's, there's a mix of opinions I get from students. I have some students who DM me who say that they want my PDFs to be fully updated through forms, uh, through uh, NBME Form 30. And then I have other students who say that they're glad that they're not going to be, that the PDFs aren't updated through 30. Essentially, think of it this way. It's teamwork. You are going to be memorizing NBMEs 20 through 30. And then my job is I've consolidated all the information from forms 6 through 18 slash 19, that ballpark. And... In turn, you're getting all the info you need to know from 6 through 30. That's what's happening. So don't worry about uh, artificial score inflation. Uh, as I said, 20 through 24 plus my PDFs are going to be memorizing. You're going to do 25 through 30, and then you're, you're going to go into the real deal, and you're going to be able to peak that way. You do not want to be doing UWorld right up until your actual exam. Okay, I've made lots of clips on this stuff. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.